Hello, this is Esther Park. So today I'm going to be sharing about an online collaborative tool called Google Jamboard. I will be sharing the basic how-tos of Google Jamboard and a few examples to show how you would use this tool for remote teaching. First of all, what is Jamboard? Google Jamboard is an interactive tool that will help make our synchronous sessions more interactive and engaging. And it's very similar to using shared collaborative Google Slides. One difference that I noticed between collaborative Google Slides and Google Jamboard is that Jamboard has a great whiteboard annotation feature that your students can use to handwrite text directly to the frames. So if you are a math teacher or if you are a science teacher, Jamboard is the way to go. Um, oh, and of course, all Jamboards are free. So let's take a look at the basic how to's of creating your first Jamboard. So first, you're going to go to jamboard.google.com. Next, you're going to click the plus button on the bottom right to create your new jam. Next, create your own whiteboard frames using the various features that Jamboard offers. And lastly, you're going to click share and give all your students editing access to your jam so they can come into your class deck and interact with uh, your frames. So now let me quickly walk you through each step very briefly. So I'm going to exit my presentation mode. So first of all, you are going to go to jamboard.google.com. And this is a landing page where you can see all of your past Jamboards that you've created. So to create a new jam, you're going to click on the yellowish orange button on the bottom. And on the top, you have an option to rename this jam. I'm going to rename it as demo. And go ahead and click background. So you have an option to change your background of your board. So you can make your background to be dotted lines. Lines paper feel can be graph paper. And also you have an option of changing the background colors. On the left side, these are the features that you or your students can use to interact with the Jamboard. First one is the pen tool where you can change the style of the pen as well as the color of the pen. This one feature is something that makes Jamboard a, a feature that makes Jamboard a winner over Google Slides because students can write, handwrite text directly to your frames on this interactive whiteboard. Some other features of Jamboard are eraser, a select cursor, sticky note. To show you an example, simply type in what you want to say and click save. That's the sticky note feature, insert image feature. So you can insert anything from your desktop or Google image search or um, you can add something from your Google Drive and insert symbols. It can be a shape or inserting a text. And lastly, the laser pointer that gives you this cool laser pointer look. Also notice that if you click on the right arrow on the top, right here, it will give you new frames where you can add new pages to your Jamboard deck. So I'm going to quickly show you a few examples of how you can create and interact with the different features that Jamboard offers you.
Great, so you just saw a very quick way of creating your own jams using the features bar. One thing I forgot to mention is notice that on the top right hand corner where you see the three dots, you will get an option of renaming your jam board and downloading your jams as PDF, also saving each frame as an image file or removing a frame. Also, if you would like to make a copy of a Jamboard deck, you would go to make a copy so that you have a, a copy for yourself for you to use. There are two ways that you can use Google Jamboard in your remote teaching. First is to simply share your screen during your synchronous video call and use it as a whiteboard to model a task. So I would imagine a math teacher modeling a math problem on your whiteboard. So with this option, you as a teacher have the only access to your Jamboard. A second way to use Jamboard is to use it as collaborative whiteboard. So to share your Jamboard to students, it uses the same process as other Google document. So you will click share and click change anyone on the internet with this link can edit and you are going to click editor yes make sure that it's clicked to editor mm -hmm. and you will need to give your students all your students these editing rights if you want them to write and edit um, things in your jam board so once you have all of your students in a synchronous session, you're going to copy this link and share the link with all your students. Now I'm going to show you a couple of examples and some helpful templates and ideas that other educators have used Jamboard as a collaborative tool. So here on the screen, I have added a few templates that Aaron Roberts shared on Twitter. And these are formative assessment ideas, also some check-ins using Google Jamboard. So please feel free to make a copy for yourself by clicking on the image. Once you are in Jamboard page, click the three dots on top right hand corner of the Jamboard page, page and then click make a copy. Lastly, some more templates and ideas were shared by Chris Zagner. Um, and what I love about the collaborative jam templates on the right side that you see is that each student will be given a space on each frame and asked to draw or write something down as a quick formative assessment, sort of like a parking lot, a parking spot for them to add their thoughts to the class, whole class activity. So again, Please feel free to click and make a copy for yourself by clicking on these images in my presentation tech. That's it. I hope this brief video um, gave you a introductory overview of Jamboard. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for listening.